Well, good morning, Creekside. It's good to be together with you again, although again, only virtually. Uh, Pastor Mike and I here to let you know what's coming up this week. Uh, we do have a, a new class being offered that I want Mike to let you know about. So Mike, why don't you fill us in? Yeah, our Sundays at 9, which has now become Wednesdays at 7 on Facebook Live, is going to kick off this week with a, a new class we're really excited about. We're calling it the Big Five. Now, the thought behind this class is to address some of the more pressing current questions that skeptics raise against Christianity when they're cons considering the Christian faith. So, for instance, about a generation ago, some of the big questions would be questions like, is there a God? And is Jesus the only way to that God? And did the resurrection of Jesus actually happen? Whereas now, though those questions are still important, questions mm -hmm. are much more commonly along the lines of, how can you impose your system of morality on me? Um, how can I believe in Jesus when so much evil has been done in his name? How can I believe in Jesus when there's so much hypocrisy in the church? And so what we wanted to do with this class is take the five most commonly asked questions about the Christian faith by skeptics and address them. So we're going to start this week with Pastor Clay kicking us off 7 p.m. on our Facebook page. On Friday, a new Pastors at the Mic episode is going to launch, and then on Sunday, we'll go back into our Revelation series. We're going to hit rewind, go back to chapter 17, pick up where we left off with the fall of Babylon. Really excited about the content that's coming this week. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, listen, uh, great to worship with you uh, yesterday for Easter Sunday. Mike, thanks for all your work. Great video. Um, please continue Creekside to pray for one another. Um, people are generally doing well, uh, obviously a little cabin fever setting in. There's some folks struggling with just uh, uh, issues of uh, kind of being uh, locked up and that sort of thing. So just pray for families, uh, folks who um, have been kind of shut in. I do want to give you kind of a, a heads up. There's been some articles coming out about this stimulus money that's coming out. Uh, do be careful. There evidently are scammers that are starting to uh, try to get out ahead of this. Two main things the articles say. Uh, one, you don't really need to do anything to access the money if you filled out a um, tax return, it's coming to you. Uh, and two, no one has access to the money early. So if someone calls you trying to get information from you, just be careful, Creekside. Uh, unfortunately, times like this, uh, not everybody's first impulse is to serve, but uh, there are scammers out there. So just, just be aware of that and be careful. Um, again, great to be together uh, virtually, but uh, we are looking forward to whenever the next time we can be together, but grateful to have a chance like this to let you know a little bit about what's going on uh, with Creekside this week. Mike? Yep, Creekside, we're praying for you, and we hope to see you soon.